Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Miss Lion's channel. Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so we have another really fun activity that we are going to conduct today. And so it involves um, a couple of setup items. So, but I first want to say good morning to everybody or good afternoon, depending on when you watch the video. Um, I'm so glad third period is here to join us today. Hi, third period. I didn't forget about you. You're right over there, all of you. Yay, all my students, and you're still smiling. Yay, okay. Um, so what you need to do is you need a device. And so um, if you don't have one personally, you're just going to have to borrow one from a parent um, because this is super fun. We are actually going to virtually walk through a museum, um, and I even dressed for the occasion. <laughs> um, so yeah, so first things first is um, you need the app. So you're going to go to the app store, which you guys know how to find, and then you're going to type in Google Arts and Culture, and here's the icon right there. It's a little house, the blue with the white house, okay? You're going to download that puppy. Okay, and then your next step is, um, that's it. So I just want you to go to the Google Arts and Culture. Um, if you don't have a device, you're welcome to get onto the computer, but I don't think you can actually go through the, um, the virtual museum and actually like walk through. Um, so yeah, that's the one kind of annoying thing. So you have to actually have a handheld device. Um, so it's so cool, I can't wait to share with you. Once you hop in, you can start like kind of perusing through it. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. There's so many weird, wild things to do. You're gonna get really kind of like into it. I promise, it's so stinking rad. Anyway, so download it and then you can just look around for a couple minutes, but then come back because we actually have some work to do, yo. Now that you have the Google Arts and Culture app, the things that you're gonna need to complete this super capital F U N project is you're going to need something to write a piece of paper. Um, it can be a in a notebook and um, because you're actually going to be walking around. So if you have a clipboard, amazing. Um, but you can use a big book too um, so that you can walk and stop and write and draw. Um, you're also going to need a pencil or just something to write with. Um, I don't recommend any like fat crayons or fat sharpies because you're actually going to write some sentences. I know, oh my gosh, I'm going to torture you. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Um, it's so important to uh, analyze artwork and so I'm going to teach you the main steps of analyzing art and um, using the amazing vocab that we practiced already in our last assignment which was Omega Fun Sauce. And here is my finished product. I told you I promised I'd finish it because I do my homework. I do my homework. Is that a masterpiece? No! It's not. But what is there is the elements of art. Line, shape, color, form, texture, value, mm, space. Okay? Because <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I hope that was awesome. Okay, so now you have your materials ready to go. And you obviously need your device. So where we're gonna go is um, with your paper, pencil, and your device. I know you don't have three hands, but you can get creative. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to peruse, browse the amazing museum. So which museum do you want? Do I need you guys to uh, to walk through? Um, I will tell you now. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the app, okay? Do la la, arts and culture, here we go. Loading, 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 oh gosh. There you are. <laughs> okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push on this little button right here, that one, that button, ew, my finger. And then it's going to, this is so fun here, by the weasel, okay? And we're gonna go to pocket gallery, check, and then it sends this screen right here, okay? Now this is a little bit weird. I found the best way to do it. It's saying to sweep your phone in a circular motion, wax on, wax off. <laughs> no, 
Okay, the way I was able to make it work is actually when I did this on the floor. So I'm gonna do it right now. I'm circling, circling motion, circling motion, circling motion, oh gosh. Okay, let me try again on the hardwood floor. Uh, there we go. Okay, so then once it works, you're gonna see these dotted, oh, oh poop on a stick. Okay, it's, okay, so you'll see like a series of dots, okay? So you're gonna click on it, download to view, download to view. Getting on the bus is a little tricky. Okay, so once you do the wax on, wax off, then um, you're going to see this, these little polka dot thingies, polka dots, polka dots, and, um, and then you, it'll give you these little items down here at the bottom, and you're gonna go and you're gonna scroll through and find the art of color the art of color and it looks like well it doesn't want to show you every time i turn the phone towards you but then you're going to enter the enter button okay and so once you've entered then you're going to see the um entrance of the museum <laughs> wasn't the bus ride fun <laughs> okay so we're all there <laughs> it's so fun to see everybody alive and well um, yeah, anyway, just kidding, okay? Take a joke. Okay, so the next step is you're literally going to walk around and um, you're going to see amazing artwork on the walls. It's so stinking cool, all right? So I think it will work. Um, see, you can see there, uh, oh no, yep. So once you walk toward it, it's pretty much like where, I mean, not where's Waldo. It's pretty much like Pokemon Go, okay? I know you love Pokemon Go. Don't even try to deny it, okay? So you're going to go and you're going to literally walk, walk, walk with your clipboard and your paper and your pencil, <laughs> okay? And then what you're going to do is once you stumble upon a piece of artwork that perks your delight, then I need you to do the following thing. This is the important part, the lesson. This is where you're going to actually have to write, okay? All right, so for example, what do, what do you want me to, what do you want, blah, blah, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you? Okay, let me try to get to a piece of artwork here. I'm trying to get there, I'm trying, okay? Okay, so when you come to a piece of artwork you like, um, you're going to click on it, okay? So like this. Okay, see that one? I love that one. It's so urban, okay? And Miss Lyons loves the urban art. Okay, so I'm looking at it, and then the nice thing is you can swipe up, and it will give you more information about the piece of artwork, okay? So then what you're gonna do is um, you can either complete the assignment right there, or you can take a screenshot and I'm going to do that. Uh. You have to say uh when you do it, by the way, okay? And I, I can hear you, all right? Um, I hope you know how to take a screenshot. Um, so if you don't ask your somebody, don't go, to, don't go anywhere though, okay? Okay, taking a screenshot, and the reason why you can come back to it and then you can sit down in the comfort of your own couch rather than standing up in the museum because the museum seating is awfully cold and hard. Okay, whatever, lady. You get my point. Okay, so I want you to walk around the entire museum. It's so beautiful. I love this museum. And guess what? There's so many other good ones. So we're going to talk more about that later, but I want to focus on this one particular museum because we're going to all be there together. We took the bus ride for a reason, okay? Um, so what do you do now? After you have screenshot or that you're standing in front of a piece of art that you like, again, I want you to do um, not, I mean, I, I want you to do five, five pieces of art, okay? Five pieces of art. One, two, three, four, five. So that's, that's a lot of writing, but you can do it. I believe in you, okay? Your language arts teachers will be very, very proud, okay? So what do you want to, me to, uh, okay, you're asking, lady, what do you want me to do? Okay, so what I need you to do is step one. What you're gonna do on your piece of paper, this is probably actually, now that I think about it, gonna involve more than one piece of paper because I've asked you to do five, okay? Um, don't be mad, all right? 
school's important. All right, so here we go. I want to move you so we can see. Okay, there. Okay, step one. You're going to, I'm going to use a marker. You guys use pencil or pen because you can't see as good um, through the screen and all using my acrylic markers. Okay, so the first thing on the top of your page, you're going to write your name, date, your period, so that when you turn it in, I'm just kidding. You're not turning it in. I mean, you can turn it in. I want you to turn it in. Actually, forget that noise. Stop, lady. Do you guys like my snake? Eh, it's a real rattlesnake. <laughs> I just thought he'd join us because, I don't know why. Because, anyway. What you're going to do, top of the page, stay on track, lady. You're going to draw a rectangle. Okay. And you're going to sketch the art. Yep. Sketch it out, okay? So, um, you know, just like a scientist, just like they make observations and make sketches, that's what you're going to do, okay? So I am going to sketch this piece of artwork out, and it doesn't have to be in color, but it can be if you wanted to. So this one has big, block, bold lines, which is really cool. So I'm going to start writing it down. Here we go. Up, uh, yep, thank you, producing... Okay, so we have these interesting faces, looking like faces and like that. Uh-huh. And lots of letters. Blah. And then that looks like a nose and a mouth with teeth. And um, as you can see, this is the one I'm drawing so that you guys can kind of have some context. Context. Okay, and I'm drawing, 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 and los, I can't really see what that says. And then there's all these interesting large shapes behind going on. I don't see that many forms. Definitely lots of shapes and thick lines. Okay, so that's step one. Sketch the art, okay? Step two, ladies and gentlemen, is now for the writing of palabras, okay? The writing of words. This is um, the important component because it's so important to um, be able to describe what you're seeing, okay? So below, you're going to write a paragraph, okay? And the paragraph is going to be about the artwork that you're looking at, okay? And we're going to do... Um, what I call dry. <laughs> All right, sounds weird, but it's going to help me remember what to tell you. Okay, D R D R. Oh, that pen is not. This they they kind of take a long time to activate. Right. Push, 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 push. I don't have time to push. All right, all right. Okay, okay. I'm gonna use Bluey. All right. So dry D. R, I believe it's a uh, next comes. This is the weird part. I, and then an E. Dry. I know I didn't spell it right because you're gonna. This is an acronym. Okay. So the first D is describe. Okay. So using sentence format, you're going to describe the piece of artwork. Okay. Now, what's important about describing the piece of artwork? is the first thing, um, number one. You need to use at least three of the elements of art, okay? Elements of art, review, right here, you have your elements of art, 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 <laughs> art, art, all right, elements of art, okay, bomb, 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 bomb. Write them down if you need to, if you forgot, mm -hmm. pause, if you must, okay? And then you're going to describe it in sentence form. Okay, and I always tell my students, I always tell my students, when you're describing with a sentence, sentence, you need to make sure that those sentences are easily seven words or more. Okay, the it is cool, or it is ugly, or I like it. It's out the window, dude. Come on, trash that. No. It needs to be described using a lot of flowery, lots of spicy, lots of details, okay? So, 
this artwork has very bold lines throughout, including mostly black. That would be one sentence, guys. Okay. Mm, right, 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 right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Um, you also want to think of the D part, the describe part, like you're describing the artwork to somebody who cannot see it because then you will be more thorough, okay? So you're describing your the artwork that you're looking at. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. Mm, you need to write the title of the art, okay? So that's really important, okay? Back, okay, let me find the title of the artwork. And again, I just do not have time, no time to do retakes. Okay, so it's called Los Pibas. Los Pibas. You'd better believe I'm gonna look that up in a sec. Okay, um, my espanol es no es perfecto. Okay, but um, that's the title. So I want you to put the title. Don't forget about the title. Okay, see that? Really good at spelling. Okay, all right, so that's the first D. Describe. That should easily be um, three elements included. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next um, section, it's going to be all really one paragraph, but you guys already know how to write a paragraph, so make sure you're you know, following those guidelines that you learn in the other classrooms. <laughs> okay, anyway, R, relate, okay? Relate, relate. Okay, so how are you gonna relate? What you're gonna do now is after you've described the artwork in full detail, you're going to relate the artwork in some fashion. So what does the artwork remind you of, okay? This artwork reminds me of when I'm driving down the freeway and I look to the left and I see graffiti art, okay? I hear knocking on a window. Okay, teaching. Ah. Okay, um, relate. What in what interests you most about this piece of artwork? You're the one who chose it. So, what interests you most about this piece of artwork? That would be another way you can relate. Um, you can relate um, the piece of artwork to your own personal opinion. Okay. No, 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 guys. Thank you. Okay, relate. Okay. The next piece I'd like you to include in your um, interpreting artwork is, did I just say it? Aha, I did. Interpret. Interpret. Okay? Interpret. You're going to interpret the artwork. Okay? Um, what do you think this painting is about? What is it about? What's going on? What do you see? Is it a fish flying or, it, you know, I want you to actually give an analysis and interpret what you think this piece of artwork is all about. Um, so this piece of artwork seems to have a lot of dark emotion because of the thick black lines and the words that are, I don't know, in Spanish. So I need to look it up. I'm pretty good in my Spanish. It's kind of embarrassing that I don't know what these, what some of the words are. Um, so you're going to write down your interpretation, okay? What is it about? What do you think it's about? Now, again, when you swipe up, it's going to give you a little information, right? All right? Hint, hint. Okay? So um, that's that. Don't you dare copy what it says. I want you to try to interpret it without... You know, having um, just popping. All right, the last part is evaluate. This is where you get to give it your rating. You know you love to rate, don't we all? Evaluate. Evaluate. I'm hungry. Okay. Evaluate. What um, would you put this piece of artwork up in your bedroom? I don't know. Okay. I think this piece of artwork is pretty is is pretty bold. And if I had a room for it in my home, it would probably live in the office. 
okay? Um, I, I, this painting is high, very high quality, and it shows um, that this person is very talented in urban art. All right, all those, it looks like spray paint. So you're gonna evaluate it. Do you think this piece of artwork is um, disturbing? Do you think it's beautiful? Do you think this artwork took like 12 years to make? Um, but this is what you're going to include, okay, in this paragraph. So you, again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that tour and have a great time, okay? No food in the museum. <laughs> okay, whatever. Then you're going to either do each piece of artwork as you go, okay? Or you're gonna find one you like, you're gonna screenshot, you're gonna screenshot not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, seis, I mean, oh gosh, one, two, three, four, five pieces, okay? And then what you're going to do, um, you can also like swipe up and then um, screenshot the information if you're interested, you know what I mean? Um, and reading about it later, if you don't wanna on hand stop and do your project, that's fine. But um, you're going to, again, sketch it, title it, and then you're going to do the dry, okay? D-R-I-E, okay? That is the project at hand. I hope you enjoy the field trip. I seriously love Google Arts and Culture. I've been having fun with it all morning. It's been a while since I used it, and I cannot, I just, it's so fun. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing really good. I hope you're using your hand sand, and I hope you're getting a lot of rest, and I hope you're taking all these activities seriously because you are the one in control of your education right now, ladies and gentlemen, just you. Okay, I hope you're good, and coming next is going to be all about color theory. Okay, bye. I forgot to mention, guys, once you are finished with your dry assignment, <laughs> I want you to, um, I want you to either snap a picture and email it to me or, um, send me directly a photo on Insta, but I want to see what, what artwork stood out to you in that color museum. I am so excited to see what you, what perked your interest. Okay, so don't forget to, don't leave me stranded. It's only worth 12 million points and stuff. So, um, yeah, please don't forget to turn it in because I would love to hear from you guys and see what, um, what kind of art you are enjoying during the beautiful field trip on the sunny day. Um, the bus ride was stinky. Anyway, bye!